Hello, my name is Pauline Barker and today we're going to talk about multiplication in Key Stage 1. When the children first think about multiplication, they start to learn to count in different size steps. So they start thinking about counting in twos, fives and tens, thinking about the pattern, learning it by rote, two, four, six, eight, ten. We then start to look at how that pattern looks on a hundred square. Two, four, six, eight, ten. And the children start to learn other things about those numbers. For example, they are all even numbers when we're counting in steps of two. They also start to learn that in different counting steps the pattern changes. So when we count in tens, there's always a zero in the units position. And when we count in fives, there can be a five in the units followed by a ten in the units. Learning to count quickly in these steps and learning these patterns to start with gives the children good security with the numbers and will help them when multiplication becomes more complicated as their learning develops. Learning to count in steps can then make it easier to count a group of objects. So we can group them into twos and then count them using that step counting. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And we can do that with any sort of grouping and any counting step. To make it easier to count in steps, we can organise the uh, counters in a slightly different way. If we put them into rows and columns neatly, it makes counting a lot easier. Two, four, six, eight, ten, twelve. And we can do this in any way for any size group as long as they stay within a neat rectangular set. 3, 6, 9, 12. This way of organising something is called an array. The children start to learn that these counting steps are the numbers that appear in different times tables. So by counting in twos, you're looking at the numbers that will be in the two times table. And they begin to know that they are called multiples, members of the two times table family, or five times table family, are the five times table multiples. As the children become confident in counting in steps of two, five and ten, they then start to look at times tables and they can start to see how they may be written and how the pattern that they have been learning relates to different um, multiplication sums. Children will learn these um, over a number of years, becoming more confident in being able to say them in different ways, but they often learn them by rote or by singing silly songs um, and learning certain patterns that go with them. Whilst the children are still learning their tables and becoming more confident in them, we start to look at what that multiplication sum actually means. So what is it that 4 times 3 actually means? And as part of this, we start looking at the vocabulary that we use. Start thinking of groups and lots. And this is where the children's understanding of being able to count in different steps starts to become really important. When objects have been arranged as an array, as these dogs have been, it makes it easier to find different groups. So we can group them this way. And in each of the groups, there's the same number of dogs. There's four in each of the three groups. And we start to think about how we can represent that. That will be the same as 4, add, 4, add, 4. We've added 4 each time for each of the groups. And because we've added the same number on each time, it's known as repeated addition. We can show this on a number line as 3 jumps 
of four. And that helps the children then to think about what multiplication sum this is representing. So we have four in a group and we have three lots of them. We have a jump of four and we have three jumps. Then we can look at grouping them in the opposite way, in columns instead of rows. And again, because they're in the array, they're neatly arranged into groups of the same size. And this time we can do the repeated addition so that the three dogs in each group are added together. And then we can think about the number line that that would be, showing each of the groups of three as four jumps. And once again, that then shows the children that it is three four times. It's important that the children become confident and efficient in using these visual representations, different ways of writing multiplication and understand them before they move on to the more complicated multiplication they will do in Key Stage 2.